something nasty. Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy PerxP here, and today I'm finally bringing you guys some more advanced warfare gameplay. Yes, I am finally back in a way, to say the least, w w with gameplay for you guys. So stay tuned in my channel with the coming weeks because I, I will have more advanced warfare news along with gameplay now. Before I get into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know and update on what's going on with my current situation. So, yes, I have gameplay, but it is not mine. It is actually my friend's who sent me this. He is awesome for doing this and really helping me out because I feel like my channel will will get back into the groove and start growing like it has when I still had gameplay. So yeah, after a long grueling month, I am back and should be good with gameplay for the next few weeks till I get my laptop back so I just wanted to say say a huge shout out to my good friend Zeon Dubstep his link will be down below so go check him out he posts a lot of stuff on GTA Advanced Warfare all that good stuff personal stories and yeah he'll be providing my channel with the gameplays in the within for the coming up two two weeks or so so a big thank you to him. Check him out. He's a funny guy. And yeah, so let's get into the video. So obviously, we're seeing gameplay of the new DLC weapon called the Ohm, and this is a direct energy um, LMG heavy weapon slash sh shotgun. So it's a two-in-one hybrid shotgun LMG, and both are used in this gameplay and to be honest I think the more effective one is the LMG because it's like a three shot kill and the fire rate's fast and there's like a little little to no recoil so people who have this do have a slight more competitive advantage but it's not as much compared to other guns so don't worry and the shotgun variant is like range of the tech the 19 so don't worry and it does take like a few bullets to kill so unless you're super close the shotgun is not a fear to be worried about but yeah so what we're we'll talking about is a complete overview of the ohm itself and yes so let's get into it uh, so like I said it's a direct LMG shoddy hybrid um, it's a heavy weapon so you run like a heavy weapon you see you're kind of sluggish with it so and by the way the attachments in this gameplay are red dot sight quick draw and I believe for grip or stock I'm not too sure but anyway yeah so if you're gonna use this gun, I recommend that you guys use either lightweight or exo overclock because again, you do run at 85% movement speed, which is really slow. So yeah, if you wanna be quick and be quicker and make up for that sluggish movement speed, run lightweight or exo overclock. Now as f for perk two, I. I'd recommend either peripherals or gun hoe for the shotgun mode. It depends on your playstyle. If you like to see the whole mini map, then use peripherals. But if, but if you don't care and want to shoot on the run, then use gun hoe. And then for perk three, uh, use um, blast suppressor, and then. I'd recommend scavenger because of the small clip size 
but you 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 could use toughness or whatever or hardline. But I'd recommend Bless Oppressor and Scavenger. So yeah, more facts about the gun itself. Um, it has 40 rounds per mag, obviously, and the, the camo is pretty cool on it. It's like this kind of. It, it kind of looks like royalty in, in a way, but it's not. It's like this brass steel kind of looking camo. Certainly cool, <laughs> nonetheless. But, uh, yeah, so this came out last week and is, and is the official DLC 2 uh, weapon. And it is on, on live right now for... Xbox season pass holders, so get your hands on it and <laughs> use it before they patch it because it will certainly not be this good for long. I, I can tell you that much. And the reload on it is not too bad, it takes about maybe uh, 2.5 seconds to run somewhere around in the lower threes, so not bad, As, especially. For an LMG, it's rather on the quick side, but then again, you do lose some some of it in the way, since it only does have 40 mags, but it does still pretty. It does do some major damage, which is kind of nice. So overall, is it head and shoulders over other weapons? No, I still think that the ASM1 and the bow are the best guns in the game, even the AK-12 rip. But this is just a nice, another fun variant. Just like the A-84 was a fun gun to mess around with. But this is more competitive, so I think people will have a lot more time, a lot more fun time using it because you'll be able to compete with the ASM-1 and the bows and the AK-12s and all that good stuff but yeah guys so that's basically gonna be it f for this video so like I said again it is 40 40 runs per mag fire rate is pretty good it is a shotgun and LMG hybrid it is considered a, a heavy weapon so you do run kind of sluggish but but that could be fixed with X overclock and lightweight and yeah so uh if you guys enjoy this ohm gameplay and i am back with gameplay and should be from now on if everything go goes as planned because you know it wasn't fair to tell you guys and, and i wasn't happy that i couldn't bring you guys gameplay but yeah so i'm um, hopefully b back in the grooves of things for good and yeah so expect great content coming up in the, in the next week because yeah I'm gonna be getting gameplay and uh yeah the the future from for my channel is looking good almost at 600 subscribers I'm kinda hoping that we could hit that within this first day of the videos being up I'm like five away or something like that so I'm really hoping that I can. But yeah guys, so enough rambling. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe for more. And join the uh, XP squad. And uh, yeah, make make sure to check out ZM Dubstep. His link will be down below. He'll be providing all the gameplays for the next coming week or so. So big shout out to him. But yeah guys, thanks once again for watching. Take care. And see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah. Peace out.